I'm interested in the experience of Indigenous and called patients in cancer services and their involvement in clinical trials. If we don't have Indigenous and called patients represented in these clinical trials, we're not getting the best quality data that we can get about these, these new treatments because we've got parts of the population who are not represented. To understand why we've got such low recruitment rates, part of that is clinical factors, for example excluding patients because they have comorbidities and we know that particularly indigenous populations but also called populations are more likely to have conditions that are going to exclude them from trials. Patients are going to have financial barriers if they are from lower socioeconomic groups, barriers to actually get to where the trials are, barriers to being able to leave their family or children. I have patients who have refused treatment altogether because they don't want to stop working because their family relies on them for their income. And then you've got cultural barriers. Our health systems, both in Australia and New Zealand, historically hasn't worked well for Indigenous populations. The most important things that we can do going forward, increasing the collaboration and involvement of Indigenous and called communities in all aspects of trials, from design all the way down to implementation. The best approach is to make all trials work for the majority of the population, including important parts of our population who are these indigenous and called patients. The people I work with, they are doing the absolute best that they can, but I still think we've got a long way to go to the point where there is enough involvement of these communities in the actual trials themselves.